Hello, this is Chili Gonzalez for The Big Issue, here talking about major and minor keys. It's a little simplistic to say that minor is sad and major is happy. For example, you could pack your song with nothing but minor chords and think that you've created something dark. I mean, it actually makes me think of Andrew Lloyd Webber's Phantom of the Opera. One minor chord after another. In fact, it's a caricature of dark music. Major is kind of the same. If you pack a bunch of major chords, it doesn't guarantee that your song is going to make people happy. I mean, in a more innocent time, in the 50s, for example, a lot of songs simply had a lot of major chords, like La Bamba. Good music combines major and minor because that's how life is, right? So a song like Video Games by Lana Del Rey is a very good example. She starts with a combination of a minor chord followed by a major. And that just continues. So you're constantly getting this sad chord, happy chord, sad chord, happy chord, sad chord, happy chord. That's that bittersweetness that we like in Lana Del Rey's music. In a song that I wrote with Leslie Feist called Limit to Your Love, popularized but not composed by James Blake, we used the same technique. Here's the riff. And in those four chords, we cycle through all the emotions. We start with happy, sad, happy, sad. And really, good music needs both. I can't stress this enough. Now, I just made an album of Christmas music, and I was looking for those Christmas songs that had this kind of bittersweetness, and I found one in Wham's Last Christmas, right? We start in the major, right? We're talking about something fairly positive. Last Christmas I gave you my heart. That's a wonderful, naive statement, and so it has to be in major. But then when the lyrics change, here's the brilliant part. But the very next day, you gave it away. And here we have a minor chord, right? That's proper musical storytelling. Let's have a listen. 